Hey guys, it's um, New Life for Jen or Jen. Today is my week seven post op. Um, today, well, we'll start with the numbers. Um, my starting weight on the date of pre op diet, which was March 1st, 2011, um, was 264.8. Today, which my weigh-ins are on Friday, um, today's um, 5-6, 2011, I was 230 pounds, 0.2. So, very happy with that number on the scale this week. Um, 2.8 pound loss. Um, wishing it was more just because I'm in this 15 pound 30 day challenge, but I had two great losses the week before, 4.2 and 4.2. So, that's kind of to be expected. A um, little bit of what's going on this week. Um, Hit the gym really hard this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Did not yesterday, but uh, Monday, Tuesday, Monday and Wednesday, I went to the Y, did my 25 minutes of weights, and anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes of cardio. Um, my cardio, I change it up a little bit. I do, you know, as much as I can on the elliptical. The elliptical is really hard for me, so hopefully my endurance level will build. Um, before surgery, I had a lot of back problems. So for some reason, when I do the elliptical, my back just literally kills me. So I'm hoping as the weight comes off that my back will get better. Um, so anywhere I, you know, other than that, I do the bikes. I do, um, I do a lot of walking. Um, I do a 3.5 pace on the treadmill, which to me that seems fast. I don't know if anybody else, I know runners do usually anywhere from 4 to 5. So I figured I'm doing pretty good with a 3.5 pace on a treadmill. Um... And then Tuesday night, I we have a bike trail that runs all the way through our town. So I did three miles on that. So that was good. Um, yesterday I finished up my finals, so I'm done with school for the next three weeks. So these next three weeks I'll be able to dedicate a lot more time to going in and doing more of the actual gym stuff at the Y. Because I like doing the weights. I think that's going to help. So um, food and restriction this week. Um, I had a fill last week on Tuesday. Um, I believe that was the 26th. Didn't notice, like, any difference whatsoever. Um, so I went from a 2.cc in my 4cc band to a 2.5. Um, didn't notice any difference at all. So I did call them today, and I am scheduled to go on Tuesday, this week coming, um, for another fill. So it'll probably only be a half a cc again. Um problem I'm having is not staying full in between the, you know, the meals. Um, I try not to snack, but it is very hard, especially in the evening. So I'm hoping that this fill will get me to, that's what I consider restriction is just staying full for the full four to five hours. Um, I guess the thing with the restriction is, is I don't want to be so tight that I can't eat or you know, I'm burping a lot, or, I mean, I want to be to where I just stay full. To me, that's restriction to me. It's not about, you know, burping or or <clears throat> having trouble getting food down, or I just want to be able to stay full. And I've noticed, too, um, that I think a lot of it is just keeping yourself busy. If you have time to sit around and think about that you're hungry, you're going to be hungry. So I've noticed, like, if I start to feel that way, I'll try to drink as much water as I can, and then I'll try to find something else to do. And if after 15 minutes to a half hour I'm still hungry, then I'll snack on something. Um, I have, or had, hopefully, a very bad sweet tooth. So I found a lot of the 90-calorie, um, the Quaker rice snacks, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff that I snack on. Um, if I'm hungry, hungry, then I try to eat something with a lot of protein, whether it be nuts or, you know, even if it's, you know, something. Um, haven't really been doing breakfast. I don't know if that's part of the reason why I'm hungry. I don't think it is. I've never been a breakfast person. Um, I did start doing protein shakes this morning. Not a big fan of those either, but I figure if that's going to help me maybe stay full throughout the day. Even though I don't eat like a breakfast, I usually get in anywhere from 60 to 70 grams of protein a day. Um, the things that I look at for pro, um, just with the food is my protein, the carbohydrates, and the calories. Don't worry about fat. Don't worry about, you know, all the other stuff on there. Um, to me, those are my three most important things because I try to keep my carbs under 60 grams a day, which is almost where we were at on a pre-op diet. 
my pre-up diet, I had to stay between 40 and 50. So, for some reason, me and carbs just don't do well together. Um, stuck episodes. Did have two of them this week. One was because I had a grilled pork chop, and the other was yesterday when I tried to eat um, round steak. Never had a problem with steak or chicken, or steak or pork before, but I guess maybe with the band being a little bit tighter, I did. Um, I don't know if it was because I didn't fully chew it all the way, but I know they were very tender, so I was really kind of disappointed with that because I'm allergic to fish. So I don't want my choices just to be chicken. <laughs> so <coughs> hopefully that will just be temporary, or I just had, you know, I know every day sometimes the band's a little tighter than what it is on other days so um so let's see what else oh I wanted to um I know some people that I've been watching videos on um about the counting calories some people don't some people do I have an iPhone and I know the my fitness pal is a great great um calorie counter and it also tracks your weight and your exercise and it, it that works great for me for um an app for that and then I also have uh a pedometer on my iPhone that I use and that will also track how many steps you do in a day it will track if you're actually walking or doing exercise it'll track how many miles you're doing and it's very accurate um, I actually have a Oman or Omanine or I don't know what kind of pedometer it is and it's almost exact to that so it's a very can't believe it's as accurate just because it's on a phone but um, very accurate um, Let's see. Um, yeah, so going to get the fill. Kind of excited about that. I just, I feel right now it's more me doing the work than the band really helping me, if that makes any sense. I feel like I'm the one disciplining myself. And, you know, I've heard other people say they get their cup of food and they stop, whether they're full or not or whatever the case. And that's kind of where I'm at. I kind of want to be able for the band to kind of do its job. Paid all this money for this band, and I kind of want it to do what it's supposed to do. Which maybe it is. Maybe it's just I'm confused about that. But really want to just be able to eat my three meals a day and be done with it, you know. Um, again, like I've said before, I keep my calories at about a 1,000 a day. Um, sometimes it's less than that, especially if I exercise. Sometimes... You know, after I type in my exercise for my calories, I'll be down to like 600 and some left. And that's only because of the exercise, which doctor said don't try to compensate for the ones you, you know, you you had for exercise. Don't try to eat another 600 calories. So, um, hopefully I'm not going to hit a stall. I think that's kind of what I'm afraid of. Figure 11 pounds in three weeks, that's kind of a lot. So, I don't know if maybe this week it'll be less. I just would love to be in the 220s. I was hoping to get there this week, um, a little bit shy. But um, I only weigh myself once a week. That's another thing. You know, I hear people, they weigh themselves every day, every day, every day, every day. And some people need to do that so that they know kind of where they're at and what they more do they need to do. I try not to. Maybe one day, like on a Monday, or maybe to Tuesday morning, Monday morning or Tuesday morning I will. Just to kind of see what happened from the weekend, um, because I don't normally exercise over the weekend, and I've decided this weekend I am. With this 15 pound and 30 day challenge, I think that you have to do at least five days of exercise a week, at least. Um, but another thing I noticed is, as I try not to exercise on Thursdays, my weigh in is on Fridays. To me, it seems like if I exercise on a Friday, my weight is higher the next day. I don't know if that's just because your muscles got worked. You know, I'm doing a lot of weight training. So I don't know if it's something to do with that. But Thursdays are kind of like my day that I know I'm not going to exercise. You know, walking is one thing. But I'm saying like weight training and stuff like that I won't do on a Thursday. Because my weigh ins on Friday. Um, loving everybody's videos this week. Um, glad to see there's so many people that joined that 15 pound and 30 day challenge. I know I've been um, subscribed to Northern Southerner and, um, of course, Winsong and both of them doing this challenge, I think, is really going to help everybody get ready for summer here and kind of boost everybody back into gear. Um, I'm trying to think. I know I didn't do a video last week. There really wasn't much to report. Had a fill. That was that. Nothing major and exciting. Um, 
did watch somebody's last night um, about making a 